Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the prickly pear cactus out of cardstock paper. All the materials will be linked below the video along with the template where you could use it for your Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines. And for those who are hand cutting if you don't have a cutting machine. There will be three different sizes and you could make more or less and adjust sizing accordingly. The one I'll be starting with is the medium size and you'll be working in pairs that are mirrored to each other and they have these tabs. You'll have to fold down each tab and my paper has a textured side so I will be folding the tabs toward the smooth side which will be the inside and the textured side will be the outside. Add a little bit of white glue on the bottom where the cutout is and you could also hot glue this but I felt like the white glue was cleaner while the hot glue was quicker so it is up to your preference but I do love this specific white glue because it dries faster than others and we'll be linking that for you below. Take the glued side and overlap to the other side and making the outside pop out and the side with the tabs will pop in and do the same to the other pair. Then I have small rectangles to help glue the floral wire on the inside. You will need two of them, glue them onto the bottom of the inside where the tabs are folded toward. Next, poke holes from the inside facing you. Make sure to do it on top of a mat or you'll have some holes all over your table. I start from the top and make two holes going across and then three holes below but offset them to the top two holes so it will look like a brick pattern. You could also wait a few seconds till I finish to see the finished pattern of the holes here. Continue to make more holes below using the pattern. I made about 10 holes altogether on this medium piece. Next, take a brown marker and slightly mark each hole you made. You want it to be noticeable but not too big of a circle. Go ahead and mark all the holes. Next, have 26 of these white shapes cut and you can make a lot on one sheet of paper, letter size sheet, because we'll need more for the other cactus pieces that would be bigger and smaller than this medium piece that we have. Fold it down the middle and try your best to get the pointy tips to meet up. Do this to at least 26 pieces or more. Once you have a few ready to go, I am taking each white pointy tip and poking it through each hole we made from the inside where the tabs are. The pointy tips will be sticking out of the outside where the brown marks are. If your holes are not big enough, you could go back to each hole and get the hole to be a little bit bigger. I think about a push pin size should be good enough. I use this metal stick, but you could use a needle or a push pin to make these holes. After poking the white pieces through, I also like to tug the pointy tip and pull it so it gets kind of stuck onto the hole and then it doesn't really fall out on the inside or get loose. When I do this, it feels very secure and the spikes do not move. 
Go ahead and do this to all the holes for both the green pieces. Next, add a little glue on the edge, and I think I did about four around the rim of this green oval-like shape. And add the spikes on the side, and it's flat onto the edge. And you will be only doing this to one of the green pieces. Next, add glue on the tabs on one of the pieces, and now we will be sandwiching the other piece on top, trying to meet the tabs together. Hold it down where the tabs are for a few seconds, each while the glue dries. Next, take the brown marker and slightly mark right below the white spikes on the rim on both sides. It's a small detail, but I love how it comes out at the end. Next, I'll be doing the same thing to the bigger size green oval shape, and to finish it off, I will also be doing a third one that's smaller than the medium one, and you could keep going and making an arrangement with this in a pot. You could skip to the next chapter if you want to go on to the next step, which will be the pink flower on top, but basically this bigger size, you'll need to do the same thing, but add a lot more holes and spikes. Once you have the big green piece ready, you could add the medium and small green pieces where you feel it look right. You could even make it taller and continue to stack another one. Now you'll need two of these flower shapes in reddish pink color. You could also do other vibrant colors that you think looks appropriate to the prickly pear cactus. Grab the two and stack it up and curl each petal. Then I curl the tips out very slightly. Then get floral wire and loop the end and make the loop go perpendicular to the rest of the wire. Then poke that to one of the flower shapes and add glue onto the tip of the floral wire and glue that to the second flower and crisscrossing the petals. You can make another one of these flowers or add as many as you like. You could add them to the small green piece or the big green piece. I also have a handful of paper cactus, paper succulents, and paper plant tutorials available on my channel, so make sure to check those out. Please like this video below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.